2016 Acura MDX. I'm gonna do the front brakes. 19 millimeter socket and an impact. Not much pad left here, and the rotors are uh, are warped. All right, just gonna remove this bolt here, this one down here, 17 millimeter, and then I'll flip the caliper over. All right, got the two bolts out here. We'll flip this caliper over. Wear tab goes on, goes on the back. The new pads next to the old ones. <laughs> A lot more meat on those. Alright, to get the caliper bracket off, I'm gonna put a 19 millimeter here and up on top here. And I had to use a breaker bar to loosen them up. All right, got the two bolts out. Normally you clean off the bracket real well and you replace these guys. So you gotta make sure you clean back here real well and uh, get the grease on it. These are what the new ones look like. Alright, I'm going to replace these boots as well and uh, re-grease these pins. So they just pull right out. Alright, wiped off the pins, hit these guys with the wire brush, I'm really just worried about the surfaces where everything contacts. Slip this guy over. These guys, there are four of them, they're identical and they're symmetric. So they're just gonna snap in here. We're gonna grease everything up. All right, just grease these guys up. Had to use two different kinds of grease. We're gonna insert these, they should just pop in. hard to do with one hand and then the top bracket the top pin is the one that has the elastomer element slide that in I'll get them both in here all right to get the rotor off we got to get this guy out it's a ph3 I already loosened it one on now it's pretty clear labeled front side passenger let's line up this hole hole there It's a dual piston caliper, so we have 
a dual piston tool. And push that back. It's pretty straightforward. That side faces the piston. Basically going to put it in place and then turn this to push it to clamp it in. So all I'm going to do is set this up and then just tighten it here. Alright, so i got the tool set up now. I'm basically just going to tighten, alternate tightening here and here, and it's going to push these back. Alright, they're pushed all the way back now, so I'll loosen it and remove the tool. Alright, so the tool's out. I'm going to put this back in, the bracket. And then we'll do the pads and then the caliper. All right, so we're gonna tighten the bracket back in at 95 foot-pounds. All right, got the torque wrench set up. these spots here on both sides and then get the, the pads in again the one with the, the wear bar goes in the back wear indicator all right I'm just gonna grease these at the ends here this one doesn't mind which orientation it goes in first the one in the back you need to put the top part in first Press this, it'll slide right on. Got to push the pins in, and then we'll tighten up these bolts. All right, so I forgot all about putting these in. There are little pinhole-looking device uh, mechanisms here where you'll put these springs in on the top and the bottom. So what I had to do was I put one bolt for the caliper in and then I'm just going to swing it down. I'll see if I can do it with one hand here. Actually, so while I'm holding this, swing the caliper down. I'll need a second to get this in. It says here. All right, I got the caliper to slide down. What I had to remember was to push in on the, the lower pin. And then now, put the bolts that secure it to the mount. 53 foot pounds. We'll put the wheel on. Mm. And that should be it. Forgot to show, um, loosen the master cylinder cap when uh, when I went to compress the the caliper pistons. All right, we'll get the wheel back on and we'll torque the uh, the lug nuts to 95 foot pounds. Couldn't find a real spec, but since they're uh, 19 millimeter, should be good. Got these on; they're just kind of hand tight right now because. Once I lower the car, and there's a little bit of weight here, I'll, I'll start torquing them down. All right, so I'll wrap up the driver's side, lower the vehicle until it's like just touching the, the ground in the front, torque everything, to, all the lug nuts to 95 foot-pounds, and then bed in the brakes and tighten this guy up. So this will be the, the end of the video.